Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ayman Yunus, and today I am going to brief you on surf, uh, construction of surface water networks. Uh, it's a small introduction to, uh, because this, this system is really complicated and it's simple at the same time. Just we need to understand how this system uh, works, then we will. Uh, it will be very easy for everybody to understand uh, how it works and how uh, we can implement that at site. First of all, we need to know what is the uh, surface water uh, network mechanism. What is the surface water itself? Uh, why we uh, do we need uh, surface water uh, network? Why do we need groundwater network? Uh, surface water network on groundwater network. This is a combined system. Uh, we use it for uh, to dispose the surface water uh, that that's coming from the rain or groundwater that's coming uh, underground water. And we have two different systems to uh, implement this system. This depends on the uh, our design, the status of the area that we are going to implement the project in. And uh, these two systems are negative system and positive system. What is negative system and what is positive system? Positive system means that we have network. Network means that I have galleys and these galleys are connected to manholes and manholes uh, are connected to uh, together going by gravity to deep well or going to the sea or going to lagoon uh, it depends on the design but uh, the main concept that there is a network there is a network this is uh, this is we can say about it that this is positive system okay what is negative system negative system means we don't have positive system so how can we dispose the water that is coming from the rain for example uh, so we will have the uh, galleys and these galleys will take that water going to something called sukaway what is sukaway sukaway will be manhole and this manhole will be either it is uh, perforated rings and it will dispose this water to the ground itself around or if the uh, uh, soil around this rock, uh, in this case, we will put one borehole inside this soak away, uh, penetrating all the rock layers until it reaches to the uh, normal soil so we can dispose this water to the soil itself. This is negative system for surface water. What is the negative system for groundwater? For groundwater, we will use perforated pipes and these perforated pipes will be used for the uh, water storage inside the inside the line inside the line itself and it will the line will convey this uh, water until the end until the soil will take this water little by little um, now uh, we have a small question how how this water will go inside the pipes the pipes that we use to for groundwater is perforated pipes. Perforated pipes means like that. It con it has some holes, and water will go through these holes to the uh, pipes, and from pipes it will go to the manholes, and it will be uh, as I said, it will be even stored. If it's a negative system, it will be stored inside the pipes, or it will be conveyed from the manhole to manhole to manhole to the injection deep hole uh, or lagoon or the sea uh, if it's positive system what is that this is the galleys and i think everybody see uh, saw these galleys in the uh, roads while we are driving while we are walking in the street you can see you can see these galleys are on the side of the road i think now it's very clear to everybody what is the difference between positive system and negative system a positive system it will collect the water through galleys to network of manhole to serve specific purpose as per client request negative system means we'll collect the water in galley drainage channel and dispose it to the uh, ground through uh, through soak away connection so this is a small sketch i prepared it for you so you can understand how this system works 
Um, for infrastructure work, as I mentioned before, to understand the system, you need to under you need to see three things. What are the three things? The layout drawing, the profile drawing, and uh, a typical cross section. Typical cross section for surface water, it's a little bit complicated, so we'll take it next time. But this time, I want to, I want to explain to you some uh, uh, small things so we can uh, speak the same language in the next session. You can understand me very fast when I talk, when I say uh, property, when I say driveway, when I say bedded stream uh, gate, you can understand what I'm saying uh, easily. So this is the road. This is the road. This is the edge of asphalt. This is the edge of asphalt. And this is our surface water network. And this one, two, three, four, this is, uh, these are the manholes in our network. And the flow, as you can see, the flow direction, we can see here, this is the plan layout. The flow is going from manhole one to manhole two to manhole three to manhole four, going this way. And this green, what, is, what are these green connections? These are the galleys. These are the galleys. These galleys are, how did we determine the, the exact location of the galleys? Galleys, we have this uh, approximate location will be there. Uh, the designer has prepared it based on something called catchment area. How did he calculate it? How did he calculate this catchment area? He calculated it based on the uh, slope of the road. Uh, based on the uh, grading plan, he prepared the grading plan. He, he checked that uh, something called uh, traffic calming measures means where are the speed humps. And he put uh, approximate location for the galleys uh, based on this catchment area. When we go to construct this uh, galleys at site, we have to do some something called the clash analysis. What are the clash analysis? Clash analysis, like we make some trial bits at site. We need to check where are the exact locations of the existing utilities. Is the galley can be constructed at the same location as bear the design, or we need to change it. We need to shift it a little bit front. We need to check to shift it a little bit back. This is how we uh, determine the exact location of the galley at site. But we have something called low points. In low points, we have to construct something called double galleys. What, what uh, are double galleys? Double galleys uh, are, as I mentioned before, these galleys, the designer put them based on the grading uh, plan of the road. Means if the uh, road is going only this, this way, he will put these galleys on a specific spacing based on the catchment area as long as the road uh, slope is uh, constant but if i have this shape now the road is going down this way then the road started to go up so in this case the water that comes to the uh, surface will go will come from this side and it will come from this side so in this case i need catchment area coming for the water coming from here and catchment area for the water coming from this side so we will put one galley here one galley here to accumulate this water coming from both sides so in every low point we will see something called double galley this is this is the indication of the low point if you see this indication in the drawing this means that this is low point and we have to maintain double galleys in uh, both sides of the road we have also something called linear drainage channel okay what is linear drainage channel and why do we need to put linear drainage channel okay these are the properties houses in case the house is lower than the road what will happen when the rain comes the water will go from the road going inside the property so we need to avoid this we need something to collect this water and take it to the, our surface water system so we fix something here called linear drainage channel linear drainage channel will collect the water coming here 
in case this is negative slope what does it mean negative slope negative slope means that uh, the property level or property gate level is lower than the road level so the water will be going here we need to collect this water and take it to the surface water network system and we'll dispose it through our network okay what is that this is something called rider line what is rider line and why do we need to use something called rider line rider line we use it some sometimes to collect only surface water we don't we don't have groundwater in this area or the groundwater is very deep and we have another system below that is controlling the groundwater and we need only small uh, um, we need only rider manhole at a certain depth which is uh, very small could be 2 meter 2.5 meters to collect only the water coming from the galleys and in this case we will fix this manhole here over the line how can we see that better we can see that in the profile before but before we go to profile we need to uh, see also what do we expect to see also in the layout plan we will see here the pipe diameter we will see here the details of the manholes what are the coordinates of this manhole uh, earthing northing and what are the invert level what is the cover level what is the manhole number then now we need to go to the profile what do we expect to see in the profile we will see the uh, invert level of course of the uh, of the uh, manholes the slope of the pipes something called bedding type and the pipe material if it's uh, HDPE if it's GRP it depends on the material that is specified okay here this is the rider manhole rider manhole as I mentioned here we have already deep line and this deep line is perforated same like uh, we mentioned I mentioned here in the previous photos this will collect the groundwater so here no need for this pipe to be perforated this pipe we need it only solid because it will take only surface water not ground water ground water pipe has to be perforated but for surface water if the system is working only for surface water no need for the pipe to be perforated the pipe will be solid only um, so these are the things that I, uh, I want to explain it to you uh, in addition there is a small thing that I want to mention at the end that uh, there is something called uh, in the property something called pedestrian gate and something called driveway um, if the driveway is negative slope or pedestrian gate is negative slope we need to uh, provide this house with drainage channel even for uh, pedestrian gate either for pedestrian gate or driveway uh, whichever is negative slope uh, I think now we, we, re we reach the end of our session um, then inshallah next time we'll talk about the typical cross section uh, because it, it, it's a little bit complicated and you need to uh, first to understand this uh, session very well next time inshallah we'll start it will be very soon um, I need to see your comments I need to see your feedback your feedback is so important for me so thank you for uh, listening and bye